We are live in Los Angeles. You may recognize our next guest from CW's Jane the Virgin, starring now in the Apple TV Plus new series, Ghostwriter Andres. Help me with the rest. Mejia Vallejo. Oh, that's a, that's <laughs> it's a difficult name. one. I should change it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, but it's hard to pronounce. As beautiful as you. Mr. Thank you. Columbia. You guys are the best. Oh. Yeah, imagine that. I never thought I was going to be Miss Colombia. Colombia. Wow. It happened so sudden. I was in a contest in the United States to uh, become Mr. USA because I'm also an American citizen. And I didn't win. So I spoke to the contest in Poland and I said, hey guys, do you have a Colombian already in the contest? And they said, no, we don't. And I said, okay, well, I have a difficult name, but I'm very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let me represent. I would love to compete. Wow. And I did. And it went great, and I met great people, and it was a beautiful experience for the time, first time in Europe. And I won Miss or Friendship or Miss Congeniality. Oh, wow. Oh. It's a good one to win. I can't yeah. say I'm surprised by no. that. Your smile is contagious. And I, Thank you. Would you consider yourself lucky? Your story is mm. so interesting. Coming to the U.S., 19, yeah. as an immigrant with $1,000 in your pocket. It's been a lot. It's been a, it's been a great journey. And you know what? Before I talk about my journey, the reason why I'm here is because I, wanna, I really want to influence. I really want to inspire people. Not only with my story, but with the things that I want to achieve and I want to accomplish with my art and with my career. And uh, it's been a long journey. I got to Miami. I was 19. I spoke no English. I had so money in my, in my hands. But I had my drive and my adrenaline and my enthusiasm for life. And I went for it. And things have been happening. Now we have Ghost Rider, as we all know. And I just want to touch people's essence yeah. you know and so take us back there for a sec what exactly you know when you got to the states and you're in miami what was like the first job that you took in order to just keep things moving i have a funny story it was a souvenir store uh on lincoln road and it was my first day i was a salesperson and i got this client from europe and she asked me if i had fitting rooms and i had no idea what a fitting room was and so uh, as a good actor i was like i gotta save this i said I'm sorry, we don't have any more. We ran out of them, but we'll get, <laughs> but we'll get some more next week. Oh, and she looked at me and she's like, oh, you have no idea what you're talking about. Two minutes later, she saw the line and it reads dressing rooms. And I'm thinking dressing room, fitting room, oh, there you go. Oh. So it was, it was great because I was young and I had so much energy, but it was difficult. I was always on the phone. My mom was always, are you okay? Do you have money? Yes, I do, but not really. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the same conversation. <laughs> I didn't want to ask for money, you know? It was my decision to come to the States to make a life of myself. And I did it on my own, you know? So when did you feel like things started to shift? Shift, like you hit a tipping point sort of in yeah. terms of like, you know, the acting and the entertainment business. There was something, it was always a little moment of validation. Whether I was speaking better, in, better English or I got a better job or I got a little raise or someone came up to me and gave me that energy and told me, don't leave the country, you can make it stay. There was always a little turning point. Um, but of course, when I became a publicist for Universal Music and I got to work with Nelly Furtado and all these big people, and then I became a producer for Univision Networks in Miami. And I started to see all the things that I could actually do. And um, I was raised, my mom was like a, like a trooper, you know, she was always very disciplined. Then in Miami, you know, things weren't great, but I wanted to do acting. You know, I knew I was an actor. So I drove from Miami to LA, it took me 18 days on the road by myself. I've done that twice, it's no joke. It's no joke. That How long did it take you? 39 hours, but I did it with my brother and I would sleep, he would drive, but it was, I would never do it again. It was a great experience and I got to learn so much about you guys' country. I don't know if you guys are from here, but it's beautiful. So yeah, there was always a little moment of validation and it's still there is, like today. This is not a, this is a, a moment of validation for me. Life is telling me you go, you, you're with these great people in this great TV show, uh, exposing your story. And it's like, all right, check, keep going, Andres, don't give up. It's not easy, you know, being from a different country, not having family here. Absolutely. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your new series, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, it's a great show. I'm so happy I'm, I'm part of it. Apple TV Plus, it's a reboot. From a show in the 90s. Oh, yeah, it was yep. such a legacy yep. story. Did sure. you guys see it or yeah. you guys know about it? Yeah, I didn't. I'm Colombian, so I didn't grow up here. Grow up here. Anyway. Well, I wasn't quite old enough either to see it. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we shot in Toronto. Yeah. 
first time in Canada. Um, it's a great story. It's a, it's a sci-fi. I don't know if you guys believe in life after death, but it's kind of like along those lines. It's a group of kids, four kids, that come across a fountain and um, in a bookstore, and they name the ghost Ghost Rider because it communicates through, through, through words. Uh, thanks to the ghost, we encounter all these fictional characters, and then the kids have to team up to solve a bunch of different unsolved businesses. Uh, they also flash back in time, and that's when they basically see me. I play young Grandpa Ernesto, um, who is a key character in the in the whole storyline, and um, yeah, and then when they kind of dive into this adventure of traveling back and forth between time, that's when they go back in time and they see me. I believe we have a look at the official trailer we for the reimagined oh. Ghost Rider. Let's see. Oh, well, we will show that later. Later. Be sure to find it on YouTube, though, because it's incredible. It's really nice. About that it's really cute. It's really cute. It's very alive. It's very colorful. Um, you know, it's a kid's show, but I keep saying it's also very family-oriented. Yeah. What do you love most about your character? The fact that he is... Uh, very, very extremely nice and humble. And he has no, he, has, he doesn't have a drop of evilness in him. And I think that's very difficult to find nowadays, not to feel evil at some points in your life. And honestly, if you look at the whole performance of my character, both mine and older grandpa, we are very nice. And it's just very sweet to see a grand, grandfather uh, being so nice. Yeah, rumor has it you're also launching a new swimwear collection. Yeah, that's actually a good rumor, and I brought something for you. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, oh, I got a few. Yes. There we go. Yeah. There we go. So what's so special about... You can hold that one. Oh, uh, yes, Rob, yeah. we're doing a photo shoot. What's so special about this is that oh. they all have a hidden pocket in summer. Oh. Remember, you were talking about losing your lucky stuff? I was. It's true. I wouldn't lose it now. As an athlete, which I'm sure you are, I heard you used to play basketball yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. I usually go run. I get off my car and go run. Where do I put my key for? Yes. You know, my car keys and stuff. So it comes in handy. It really does. Even watches, rings, uh, necklaces, uh, earrings. Uh, yeah. Call 69, 69 DGS, like 69 degrees. Oh, okay. That's the website, 69DGS.com. I'm very, I'm very creative. You are. It's hard for me not to just put my hands in something new, even though like I have the show right now. But I always want to create. Well, we look forward to following your journey. You're very creative. Please tell everyone where they can find follow. Yeah, well, you guys can find me my my, my you guys can find my difficult name <laughs> everywhere. Same that every platform is the same. Andres Mejia Vallejo. If you can. Find that name, just go to Instagram 69DGS and you'll see pictures of me and then you can find me like that. Perfect. I got a feeling I'm also going to be going to that section. Yeah, I'm for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and of course, very soon on Apple TV Plus's original series Ghost Rider. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Never Talk Live.